Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Out again for another trail day. I got the uh, RC four wheel drive blazer there off to my shoulder, to your right I guess, my left. Uh, RC Noof is supposed to come out uh, in a little bit here, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, bringing his, one of his blazers out. So it's gonna be a blazer day out on uh, the lovely hoodoos here in Alberta. So yeah, uh, I've made a few changes to the blazer. I have lowered it. Took out the uh, extra leafs and kept the 1.9s on it. Seems to be okay. We'll see if we get any rubbing. Uh, but I did lower it, took the blocks out, uh, got her sitting a little bit lower. Uh, last trail I had out with it, it was pretty top heavy. They are pretty high with those blocks. So we took those out and we'll see how it does. And I know Noofs is lowered because that's how he is. He's probably got uh, 155s rocking on his. Mine are still the 1.9s. So as soon as Noof gets out, uh, we'll do some filming, do some running. Hopefully I get enough clips to uh, put together a half decent video and uh, we'll see you out on the trails. Stay tuned. Well, I've been out for like, what, 15 friggin' minutes and the batteries in my uh, TX, my RX, my, my TX, my uh, Rugged, decided to just boop, go from 6.2 volt down to 4.1 volt, just like boom. So those are, I'll show you, I just thought I'd clip in here, uh, RC Noof is on his way, so I'm just kind of sitting at the start of the hoodoos here waiting for him, but I was just horsing around and Thank God I have a spare pack of batteries in the uh, backpack. So these batteries here, I'll just turn the camera around here, guys. Hold on a sec. These batteries here, these uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries are freaking amazing. There's no weight to them. And whoops. And uh, the only bad thing is, is they're lithium. So this is the first time I've used them this summer and I have been out all summer including from May on. So I, I started using these in in May at the, uh, let me turn the camera around, I just showed you those. Oh, oh that didn't work, there we go. <clears throat> I started using those in May when I was at uh, Run, Run For The Drum in Drumheller, Alberta, and uh, they lasted all the way through till now. But they're lithium, <clears throat> pardon me, so when they go, they go. So I checked the batteries this morning, checked the remote this morning before I came out. They were 6.2 volt, uh, according to the radio. And uh, I get out here, run about 10 minutes, and kaboom, they're gone. So they die quick. Make sure you got an extra set if you're using these batteries. I'm going to get more of these. I thought I'd test them out. They're freaking amazing. They're light. They, they're just amazing, and they lasted me all summer. So I'm going to get some more of these. But just in case, always have a pack. And, and as you saw, that I put them back into the RC four-wheel drive pack because you don't want to leave your garbage on the trail. Uh, I had some RC four-wheel drive ones from one of my RTRs in the backpack, like you should. And we're back up and running. So we're just waiting for Noof to show up, and we'll get back out on the trails when he gets here. Cheers. Well, Noof made her out. We got the Trailblazers on the trail. Noof's got his orange one out. Uh, 155s, like I said in the opening uh, intro to the video. I do like that orange body. That two-tone body is amazing. So we're just out trailing and I'll get as much footage as I can.
two good looking trailblazers out on the trail. Working our way. Of course, we can't just stay to the trail. So far, so good with the lowering of mine. I'm happy with the way it is. So far. There I am looking at the damn camera again and stopping on Pat. I do that quite often. Instead of watching the trucks. Wide angle on this thing, so I'm sure it's getting the rigs. One of my favorite trucks is that TF2. Uh oh, did we lose connection? Okay. We thought he was down, but he's not. Back at that lovely rock corner that I always climb just because. It is a trail run today, but rock's a part of the trail. You see a little bit of a difference between the 155s and the 1.9s, even though I got low profile tires on there. Oh yeah, yeah. And now we're getting into the chunky shit. And we've had no rain, so we've really beat this hill up pretty good this this last month, so finding the right line is gonna be key. right behind me. I'm trying not to dig it up too much for him. But I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. Oh maybe a little uh, thinner tires help sometimes. Pat can reposition. Low wheel speed. Yeah, he's not throwing as much dirt as I did. There he goes. Wheel speed will get him through. Now he's hung up on that tree. Just a little hung up. We need rain to give us a better surface again. It'll be good in the spring. We're trying. Yeah. Too chunky. <laughs> but, uh, the 3S's don't fit so well in this rig, so we're rocking a 2S 7300 ma today. Amazon special. Yeah, we're digging holes. Yeah, we're just digging hole here. Two trucks beside each other digging hole. Yeah, so much for trailing. We're really trying to do things that meant for crawlers, but we're trying. I lost my line. Gotta get back in the center there. 
There we go. There she goes. Turbulator number two. Get mine out of the way. Oh yeah, and he just goes up there like there's no more. Look at that. Jesus. That was a good one, Todd. Thank you. Good drive rate. It's gotta be. Here's where wheel speed will come into play. One down. I think I rolled the gatekeeper up. Pat made it last time, I made it this time. Ready? Well, I do have to adjust that. Now we're gonna try this hill getting up to where I was the last time I came out uh, with the cruiser showing Pat a new spot that I found so here we'll just take our time well maybe we better go over here where it's a little solider I think we don't have as much chunk until we get up here to the top just got to pick the right line like right there there's the chunk Get that tire up, it'll give me the grip I need. There we go. That's one. Oh, Pat made her no problem. Okay, wait, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too damn soon. He had the right line. Definitely we had the right line. Oh, I'm off to get mine to the top here. There we go. Like nothing. Junky here, but we're coming down. That's one. Can't tell in the video, but that's a pretty good slope, probably 70 degrees. So if you're not on the throttle on the brake, it goes on its own. And it's chunky, chunky stuff. Jay Cruiser. coming down, picking our own different lines this time. We'll see how we do here. That's coming down the narrow split there and he's gonna beat me to the bottom. There he comes. 
Well, we did all right. We did just fine. Give her shit. Now Pat's got to pick the line. He's in the lead. spot yet so I came here with the cruiser so I brought him down here it's a good spot you gotta really find your lines in here these little guys top heavy trailblazers traveling here it's pretty smooshy there no problem and that's one I'll go a little high oh yeah it just drags me right into the, the edge and how it just pulls you right down to the edge Beautiful job. And we're down. Now we're really playing with them. Now we're really playing with them, getting them up and putting them to the test. See if we can go with a low roll day. Perfect. come around the corner start watching the truck not the cram we're doing Jesus you, you won't be in the shot perfect sorry about the wind today guys but it is what it is we're pretty windy out here today it is fall winter's coming we're trailing as much as we can before the snow flies. And it might be kind of cool to be out here with a little bit of snow on the trail. Can't stay on the beaten path, gotta go off. Off they go. Nice little off.
Two good looking blazers. I just tried that spot with the bigger tires and couldn't get up there, so I'm just chunking holes, trying the small wheels. Oh. <laughs> they are definitely not our gatekeepers. too much. and chatting. No rabbit at this corner today. There's a rabbit living in that little hole down here. He was sitting here last weekend. Now this is where we got to prick the right lines. That wasn't the right line. There we go. Smaller tire doing the same thing. Maybe a little closer for you. There we go. Perfect. Right out of there. When they moved out. Just to keep tabs on it. Oh yeah. There we go. I was a little worried about that hill. <laughs> Couldn't see it from behind. It was easier than I thought. As we make our way around this corner. I don't think we have any more bikers. We had a big crowd of bikers come through earlier. So probably 30 of them. Yeah, Rhonda knows that probably one day out of the weekend I'm going to be trailing. Yeah. If not, then I tell her. Oh, yeah. We 
we're just taking our time heading back. We don't want to leave. So we're just taking the long way back to the cars. Because we don't want to go. We're having too much fun. Now I gotta pay more attention to the truck than the camera. Bit of, bit of side hill here, but not too bad. There we go. One five five keeping up, no problem. Did amazing out there. So hopefully you guys got enough footage. We're gonna be at the cars here shortly. Hopefully we got enough and you guys enjoyed the video and RC Newf out again with me and we will see you at the next one. Everybody stay safe.